Now here's an updated video proving that the Sun Simulator is a complete joke, a hoax, and we can debunk it and prove it. And all the people that support the Sun Simulator, please provide some real evidence. Tell me where I need to go to see the Sun Simulator with my own eyes. So the first thing that they point out is, oh look, NASA has a patent on the Sun Simulator, so it must be real, right? Well, the only problem is, we can prove that NASA is 100% fake. It's not a real space agency. It's like a bunch of government paid actors whose only jobs are to deceive all of us. That's all NASA is. So when you start looking at pictures of the Sun Simulator, all of them look fake for one. This is a picture of two suns down here. Tell me where I need to go to see two suns with my own eyes. And another common sense question, what exactly is holding up the Sun Simulator? We know that gravity doesn't exist, the Earth does have a magnetic field, and there are types of magnetic field technology that can cause objects to hover, that is true. This is a video of a steel shop picture. Wow, look, it's fake. See, this is evidence. But if this was actually true, there would be thousands of people documenting this incredible conspiracy. But there's not. There's one or three or five. Here's a video that shows, look, fake sun. Sun simulator exposed. It shows a distorted looking sun. Here's another video, more proof lens system around the sun simulator. Like again, distorted lens effects probably caused by a camera. Show me where I need to go to see this with my own eyes. See, they can't provide that kind of information. Now there have been real scientists throughout the centuries that have done experiments and have proven that the sun is around 32 to 35 miles wide. So what you have to understand about the sun simulator hoax, to have a real sun simulator, it would have to be at least 10% the size of the real sun. So if the real sun is like 35 miles wide, then you would need an artificial sun that is at least 3.5 miles wide or across. So how many hundreds of billions of dollars would that cost? And what was the manpower involved in creating that enormous structure? How many thousands of laborers would it have taken to build that huge structure? Do you think they would have all kept their mouth shut? See, these are questions that no one asks. They just say, oh look, there's two suns. See, that's a sun simulator. It's just magically floating around up in the air, traveling at precision speeds perfectly like the actual sun would travel. Okay, whatever. Now, I think that the whole sun simulator thing is maybe just another conspiracy, kind of like for entertainment purposes, maybe. But, if you're out there and you absolutely believe in the Sun Simulator, please provide some real information, some real evidence, and tell me where I need to go to see it with my own eyes.